Hello and welcome back. We are about to jump into Shades Master's Holiday Special. So for those of you who don't know, this is Shades Master. He's got a day of play. Uh, is responsible for such maps as the Ethereal Shard. And he wanted, uh, well many people, but he wanted me to take a look at his Holiday Special. So only a day late. Let's jump into this. This is Custom Geo Christmas themed. It says, uh, as the village falls in the influence of the sorcerer's globe. We're going to find out what that is. I booted this very briefly last night just to test out a few things. Um, just to test out the like what weapon I was going to start with. Things like that. And you're about to see something excellent. I might even just shut up for this. It's not the music I think I had when I did it before. It's one of those tracks that has several buried in it, I think. Rudolph's nose, which is severed in hell. So that's awesome. And if you're wondering how I did it to fade at the top, if you just set the range for the text to fade out, it does it organically like that. Oh, cool. So I start out with a radiation suit. That's pretty nice. And I'm here in my nice Christmas armor. Actually, I'll have to go outside to see how that looks. I might see that crawl text again. Because, uh... Couldn't quite read all of it. I'd say, I think he had the, the rate relatively high on the camera moving to make sure it looked as fluid as possible. But. If there was a way to smooth that out, not smooth that out, slow that down, it might be nice just to see it for the sake of clarity. But I don't think that I'm missing uh, anything I can't piece together just from playing. Hello. I don't like it. So this little ice river is kind of nice. Ho! He just got killed by those friendly fire. Hey. Hey, buddy. Oops. Forgot to turn the sensitivity up just a little bit. Squoosh. Ooh. Alright. This is pretty. It's on. Actually, you know what I'm going to point out here? I think this is the washed out um, FX filter, because I want to point out that he managed to turn the embers white and make them look like slow, snow. Oh, look at that Christmas tree. Um, make them look like snow without getting rid of all of our colors here. So that's pretty good. I appreciate that. That could be. Or I mean, this might be snow blind. This might just be snow blind. Yeah. It's one of those, though. But I appreciate that he didn't just turn to ooh. River of Life, the toxic blight. Before the sorcery globe landed in this realm, the River of Life, which runs between Arlia and Santa's stronghold, was one of the most pure waters imaginable. However, the evil war machine has dark magics that alter creature and nature alike for its purposes. The townsfolk managed to build a floodgate before the toxicity exceeded habitable levels, although the depths beyond a certain point have always been a mystery. Perhaps one day a hero can expel the source of this blight, the sorcery globe itself, and return the river to its rightful state. Nice. Okay. Okay. Hello. Bleh. Oh, whoa. Ah. Uh. You're just gonna. There you go. This is a map that uh, I want to take a look at. So we got this river, the center. We got these trees. Can't grab those. That's fine. Just decorations. Those of you who are wondering, which I doubt as many of you, if you're watching this, how to make a pickup like that non-pickupable. Just gotta make sure you set the filter to AI or um, just 
something that I don't have. Like if I never get the green power core, just say I have that green power core before I can pick that up. It's that easy. If you've never used those filters. Get in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know my architecture, but is that the Dutch style? Whatever. The, like the lodge? Look at that. Would you? I'm trying to do stuff. Away. Ow. What? <laughs> the shop opens. That was an odd sound effect, I think, to pick up that weapon. I won't lie. Here's my other, like, two Christmas guns here. What the? It's a revenant. I'll deal with you later. Oh, this is a cool little tablet thing going on here. Hip. What's this? Ooh! It's wooden slats on a door done with the stone tablet blocking volume. Excellent. <laughs> Hello? Oh, a cigarette. By that I mean I think this is just where I started. No, this is, no. Oh, I'm dumb. I was here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Boop. Find the rune codes first. I like that beep you had there. Ha! <laughs> nice. That's, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so, ooh, the workshop opened. Look at all them presents. There was another map I played. It was Christmas themed. And while it was pretty fun, uh, I'm sorry I can't remember the name of the author. I'm just struggling right now. Oh, Santa! That's Santa! They killed Santa! Ooh, take a look at this workshop here. It's a really gritty workshop. Not very Santa-like, but I guess we don't really have assets that aren't that. Oh, that's clever. Using that to make the bolt. Jack Frost. I'm gonna pick that power up in a bit here. Grinch heart. Jesus. Did he just? Uh, is this Santa Claus vanquishing his foes, or is this uh, also heart? That's great. Oh, but it already grown. Man, that is a real tragedy. Give me that ball. Okay. Didn't think so. Let's take a look at this. Oh, those are glow sticks. Glow sticks and skulls. Brilliant. Whoa, what the? What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Get out of here. Okay. I just want to just keep looking at the ingenuity of using these to be the bows. I assume those are decals. Those could be other boxes, but I assume they're decals. Yeah, they'd be glitching out if they weren't. Huh. I like how it adds the sparkle. That's a pretty metal bottom to the tree. This is this is excellent. Oh, can I actually get that? I like these columns here. I'm sorry for those of you who don't care about custom geo that I'm spending so much time poking around at this. But I, I want to appreciate all the, the work that was put into this. Um, oh, the root codes up there, so let me... Ha! <laughs> I hadn't even noticed. Whop. Oh, it's a teleporter. Oh! Squoosh. Whirp. Oh, Santa's workbench. I got the rune codes. Whoa. The death Roomba. I'll see you up there. What? Alright, and we're back. Okay, I got all the way back up here. Sorry about that. That was a... Uh... Aha! That is a secret. I had some obnoxious stuff happen there. I don't know why I was losing that connection. What does this do? Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa had always been a divisive figure opposite the town of Arlia. 
While the townsfolk were overall thankful for his presence, much mystery surrounded his true intent and purpose. He is responsible for introducing the concept of Christmas to the region, but naysayers claim he wished to capitalize on the local economy. And where he was getting and where was he getting his labor from? Only so many elves volunteered from the village, yet Santa would sometimes produce trinkets, oftentimes, and artifacts of far greater power, magically and technologically than otherwise possible. Worse still, the arrival of the sorcery uh, globe has made the nomadic elf even more reclusive than usual. He keeps the hearts of his enemies now on display. Oh, so that is not Santa. This is Santa's, Santa's work here. Oh, I didn't get the thing. Oh, it's just a... Uh, oh, it's just... I see. I see. It's a prop. I like it. Okay, moving on. Let's go. I have the runic codes, which means I'm going down into Santa's workshop. Yes. Hey, cool. Ooh. Bloop, bloop. I want to point out, by the way... Ooh, that sucks for you. I want to point out, by the way... Um, a bit of a more fair fight. Uh, there were some weird things I noticed before. Some interesting choices, like spawning zombies up on the locking volumes where they can't do anything. It's a bit, uh... Ha! Of course it does. What, what, where else would it lead? I like it. Through that jaw. Bam! Okay, wait. That, oh, it sealed me in. Okay, nice. Before I go that way, let's see what's... Secret does that count as a secret? Boom. Shot... Oh, hell yes! Oh, I don't have my Christmas shotgun anymore. That's fine. Oh, I can show off my... Um, my fancy Christmas armor a bit better here. Yeah. Let's do this. Geronimo. Ah! Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't thought to make that look like molten metal, or whatever that's supposed to be. Huh, <laughs> that's very classic Doom right there. Hello, you are, you are very bright. Oh, I'll leave all that. This is not what I would have expected on the other side of this portal. Is that good? I guess Santa really took over. Oh, is this the Sorcerer Globe? Gotta kill that thing. Give it a squish. Oh, of course, it's Rudolph's nose. It's a trap. Boop. Santa X? You're using X as in. So I guess I guess you're saying that was Santa. It's not that hard to parse in hindsight. Ah, it's not the it's not the busted shotgun, which is kind of a good thing. This is a simple little fight here. Oh, I didn't take Punk. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. He's gonna do a stop! Oh, I made it. I've got
right in the dome. Got any more guys for me? Oh, ouch. No? Alright, then um, just get into... There we go. Yeah! That was Santa! Oh, man! Fine. Who? That might have been in the crawl and I missed it. Uh, I may as well. Not again. I like this portal. This is a good combination of the smoke and lighting effects. Oh, hello, butt. What? Uh, no, no, no. What are you saying? You're a revenant. You do nothing. You do nothing all the time. You, on the other hand, are a bit more dangerous. But not that much more. Blurp. I see you. Wow. Best. Is there anything here that I need to get? Probably not. Oh, I did not expect that to get you in a glory kill mode. I think I'd done that much. Hey, it's nice and pretty out here. I have Rudolph's nose so I can see through the snow. I love it. see something down there? I guess I'm just imagining things. Very pretty. Ooh, but now you can really see just how sludgy... Hey, look at the detail he put in. Ow. You guys are back. Oh, I wonder if that's the Sorcerer's Globe. I like that. I will say I think there are better textures to use than that one. To like That looks more like grime and not grime, but like wear and tear kind of damage. There's some other ones that really look like splashed up goo, but I still like it. I think I would have combined... I do like, if you'll notice, he's combined several layers of that decal to get the effect he wants. I do think that I would have added in the organic texture that I obsess over on top of all of that, but I'm not sure if you even had space to work with there. I see you. Yes, I am the best. <laughs> Take a look at that workshop there, I love it. Some great custom geo work here on the outside. Man, Santa gooed all over me. That's not a sentence you should ever say. This looks great. Look at this, look at the effort, look at the time that's gone into making this little Hello. Ooh, what's this? Scoop that up. It does nothing. What do you do? What are you? Give me that. Hey, I got the stun mod. This must be the... I think I would have done more... Well, he's probably like bingo on resources, but if you had any, I would have put windows of some sort up here. I'm sure there's going to be a big fight in here. I don't think I need to wander around like I am, but... Whatever. This must be an alpha elf. Hey! I'll take that. Okay. Let's kill this sorcerer's globe, I think. Yay! Ah. Powers of healing. I still don't know who that is. Squish. Oh yeah, I'm just getting uh, random thing one and thing two. Oh no. Oh, hello. Not what I expected. I, uh... Reminds me, I actually had a friend of mine Way back when in high school, thing one and thing one two reminds me. Uh, I was in speech and debate, and in why is that back? In speech and debate, there was a uh, event, well, in the speech half of things, called dramatic interpretation, where you interpreted a fictional work. And uh, wow, you have a lot of health. I'm just gonna do that because. 
Oops. Uh, anyway. But you have some freedom in how you interpret things. At least debatably. There's kind of a... Ooh. Different philosophies on this. Oops. <laughs> well, I have that. Um, so he did a dramatic interpretation, which can be um, you know, sad or scary or just, you know, dramatic. There's also humorous interpretation is the big contrast there, if you're not sure why the... Anyway. What the hell? Did I... Wait. What? Was I low health? Uh, what the hell just killed me there? Maybe I was just distracted by my story? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I should be using this. Bloop. Um, well, he did a dramatic interpretation of the cat in the hat, where he did it as a, like a horror thriller kind of thing. And the way he made that work was he made the, uh, the cat in the hat. Or maybe they just kill me with one shot. Maybe that's what happened. They're just really tough. Um, I'm not typically a fan of doing things that way. At least, unless, like, if you, if you communicate, if you communicate it, it's fine. If I know the thing will one touch me, then I know to be careful around it. And I'll be good. Oh god. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. But he did a dramatic interpretation where he just said the exact same lines. Like you can't change the lines themselves, but he cut them and adjusted their context and the way he said them to have something that's normally innocent and sound very not. And the uh, the big twist at the end was thing one and thing two replaced the kids from the story. They like took their forms and they locked the kids up and then he just disappeared and the family had no idea that the kids were gone because they thought thing one and two were them. This is what you come here for. These reviews is for uh, that, right? Oh, hello. Wait, did I press this? This will tell. Parasitic plant said to possess healing. Oh, actually, I guess it is. Uh, healing properties thanks to its ability to grow year round within all manner of adverse conditions. We're in a land for the elven maiden. Oh, that's who this is. Uh, that's right, it's at the beginning. Relies upon a stockpile of these plants to imbue her healing power to bear. That's not what those words mean, but it's close. However, supplies are limited. One day, she may not be able to invoke enough energy to render all the aid to those in need, and if that happens, Arlia Village is doomed. Is that you? The village is safe for now. Interesting. Wait, I thought I killed Santa. I will not fail you. Didn't I grab this already? I'm very confused. Yeah, I did. Am I going insane? Am I insane? Okay. But to go to the workbench and then the sludge gates. <laughs> Normally I would comment on the harsh contrast of red and green here, but you know. Take advantage of quest items to use the saw. Oh, I see. New areas to explore, upgrades, and even secret. This is not what I expected. You can even use the cauldron to create spells in a similar manner. Spells? What in the. That is unexpected. I don't have anything to use there, though. This is just going to tell me the same thing, right? What in the hell? What resources do I gain? What resources do I have? I'm confused. Not mad, but I am confused. This is denied. I guess we'll just, uh. I don't understand now. I went to the workbench. Oh, that's where I came from back that way. I'm dumb. I like that a lot. That's great. Nothing in here. There is sludge about. Ooh. Actually, I need that. Oh! <laughs> is 
that an environmental gank? Santa reanimate? I like the idea of using the um, uh, cyber to suggest it's the old one from before, but brought back. But what I would have done there is had the original body after you kill it, I would have had a teleport effect. Or probably not a teleport effect. I'd probably need to have a um, lightning effect or something. Hello. Oh, God. Probably have a lightning effect. Ooh, too much. And then disappear. If you, I'm pretty sure if you hit show or hide on a dead body, it still hides them. So I would have just uh, hidden the body and teleported away. So, so it would be clear that he didn't just fade away. Like they always do. But that something different happened. But I do like the idea of having that one Mancubus come back as a boss. It was a present. Wait. Oh. It's good that, um, what is this? This is pretty. It's good that they can still hop around. What is going on down there? That is pretty. This guy is having a bad time figuring out where I am. Hello. Find one more switch. Okay. I wonder where it's gonna be. Oops. Oh. I see you up there. And now I get to see my new coloring, which is just simpler. I always had this thing yellow that had bits of yellow like it was a test weapon. And now I've gone full Edgelord Black. Sodium pit accessible. That's not how you spell accessible. I like this though. Not enough purple and stuff. A lot of these maps. Oh. So I wonder if this is gonna work like normal disodium where it insta kills me. Hopefully I'll never find out. Um It's unfortunate that it bleeds up onto these platforms, but that might actually not that uh, might actually be what you want. Is that? Wait, what? Is this a leap of faith situation? I can't tell if it's another platform or not. I think it's just a crease in the colors. Uh, am I supposed to shoot this? Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is, this is cool. This is cool as hell. It's done? Alright. I don't know why. Oops. Man, I'm missing a lot. Oh god! Oh god, that hurts. She is way more relevant than I originally had thought. Oh god! Yes! Ah! Damn it! I'm bad, apparently. There we go. Just get some DPS on you. There we go. Now, uh, now I am untouchable! Oh, God! Why do I always do that to myself? Okay, so wait. Did I miss quests then? I'm confused. Because I didn't see anywhere else I could go. Or any other pickups I could have gotten. 
and I couldn't use the saw. So they might just be coming, but I thought the latest update said those were here. So maybe I just cheated you guys out of some of the content, in which case, go try it yourself, have some fun. Definitely going to give that an upvote. Um, yeah, that was a blast. There's a lot of great things, uh, a lot of great things about that one. I have some minor, minor things I would critique, but it's all minor. So, great job. Let's see where I am. In the I'm number one! Cool. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Thank you guys for sticking around. I gotta go clear out all that garbage film from when Steam crashed on me, but other than that, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, a upcoming, or I guess whenever you see this, a Happy New Year. Um, if you liked all this, like, comment, and subscribe, and go check out more of Shade Master's stuff.